necessarily, right? Obviously, picking up that additional five points that separates first and second is going to kind of give you a little bit more buffer. But yeah, I mean, there's just so much action, and it's so interesting to kind of come into the first day because you can tell a lot of these trios are thinking like, okay, we can't make a mistake. If we, if we do anything wrong here, it's going to cost us a lot. And we see a lot of these teams, even halfway through, Reese, we're kind of watching the back and be like, dude, this is so congested. There's so many trios that are just not wanting to move. Yeah, you know, that's kind of what happens, unfortunately, when you have these far side zones. And, you know, looking at some of how these top teams coming into the day kind of took part of that. You know, we saw Cammy's team say and Teague actually be the first trio to go out in the first game, unfortunately. And, you know, this is what's happened. Teams are adapting. And we saw kind of at this point, you know, can we split? Very, very split, as the name suggests. These guys aren't landing close together, and teams are capitalizing. We saw Advise's team actually triple land on the slurp truck near Coliseum and instantly push into Kami. They know where he's dropping, and that's an easy elimination. They ended up picking up both eliminations at that point, but unfortunately, both teams ended up going down. So for our, tur our first team coming into the game, didn't actually end up playing too well. Yeah, from first place yesterday to being the first to go down, it's not a great start. Taking a look here though, Hen, Chapix, Janice, these guys did yeah. have a decent game, right, to kick things off. I think they're going to be looking to sort of build on what they just achieved. I think they just got what, third place there, so a really good start. Some highlight plays as usual, it's exactly what you expect out of these guys. They are in, you know, amazing form at the moment. And then the VR there, what a shot there from the deal. Great stuff. Taking a look at the leaderboard. Changes, Ooh. changes, changes, changes. This is what happens mm -hmm. with Kami, City, and Teak. I talked at the beginning about how there's such fine margins, so much potential for things to change. And with that victory out, the deal no rally and reason will pull away just for now. Hen, Chapix, and Janice shortly and closely behind them as well. Again, yeah, all of our top three are so, so close right now. Nine points between the top three going into the next five games. But if you notice, all three of these names were in that end game playing as a duo. You know, uh, Chao kind of mentioned it a little bit, but we saw Noah Riley go down at the top when he's going for height. He had the rocket launcher, but you know, the boys still managed to pick up that big, big trial. Mm. But you know, Hen, Janice were also playing as a duo. We and then also, also they lost Max and Benji on the fly as well. So all the duos playing in the end game, the FNCS to get a ton of points. Second day finals, bro. These teams really, really are. Yeah, I want to highlight and the Lex Lazy and Exquise there in ninth, right? They got fourth in that final game there. And so to see, you know, what they can do, they had a great start yesterday. They had another similar start where, you know, they had a really good move. first game and things sort of tailored off towards the back end. So can they sort of, you know, sustain this level of performance over the course of the next, you know, five games? If they can, then I'm sure they're going to push way higher than ninth. But it's all